Yo, what is up, guys? Whoa, blurry. Okay, okay. What's up? Um, right now, I found there was oil leaking out of these things right here. So we're taking them off. We're gonna run to our auto parts store. Probably gonna have to order them, put some new ones on. Couple days. What do you think, Chase? Uh, I mean, hopefully get this baby running new again. Probably not, but pretty close anyway. So yeah, let's get this off and let's run to the auto parts store. All right, guys. So we just struggled right here trying to get this rubber piece off right here. Chase, show them how you get that off. Yeah, it's like some sort some type of seal. We we ripped ours off. We ripped. But we ripped you're ours. To, you're supposed to. Yeah. This is a uh, ten it, millimeter. It might socket. not be all the same for all engines though. Ten millimeter socket. You screw this off. Yep, and then that just comes off. Yep, that part and then, comes off and then, then your rubber piece. That piece comes off. And then that just goes back on. So yeah, you guys don't want to ruin like we did. I mean, wherever we put that rubber piece it is ripped. So I know you guys probably don't want to do that when you guys are fixing your snowmobile. You guys want to keep everything good as you can. So yeah, that's what we're here for. We're here to help y'all. So that's how you change them anyway. I mean, hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake we did. But yeah, now we're going to go to the auto parts store and we're going to order some. All right, guys. So come to find out the auto parts store did not have... That thing in there, Chase. So, we're gonna go to the old sled that has a seized engine and see if these kind of these seals or whatever match up, and then yeah. we'll just switch them around. Yeah. So we're hopefully gonna find some out there. If not, we're gonna have to go to Polaris and buy them off the website, which we'll do that tonight. We found out the year. The year's an 03, so got that. Um. We're going to go out to that one. If that one doesn't have it, we'll have to order them. So, if you guys don't have an extra sled, you're going to have to go to whatever dealer you guys have. Whatever dealer it is, you guys are going to have to order them through them. Because the parts store cannot order them through the dealer for you guys. So, you guys are going to have to order them through the dealer. And yeah, let's go see if they that have any out there. That also turns out that they're exhaust related. So, that's why yeah. the auto shop cannot carry them. Yep. I guess it's something to do with exhaust timing and so, See, or something and like that. And then these, it's that, and that's what's making the oil, and then, then things are leaking because the seal's not enough. The seal's like not a, holding it enough. Yep. So, so yeah, we're going to go out there and see if we can find a couple seals, and if we can, then we'll get them off. Let's hope so, guys. Okay, guys, so we're out to our parts sled here. Let's open up the hood, see what we got going on. What do you think, Chase? Engine seized on it. Oh, never mind. The engine's not even the same. This is a 500. So, yeah, see, no... this is connected right here, and that's where the other one was. This is also a 96. So, here's the shut off, but it has the same thing as these, but it doesn't have the same. Yep, so this would be open. You see yep. how it like, yep. runs through? Yep. This cord. So, yeah, see this exhaust is hooked right up. See on the other one, the exhaust was not hooked up to this right there. The this one's one hooked up right here. The other one was not. So, this one, on the other that one. means this is an exhaust that hooks up right to the motor. Yep. The other one had an exhaust. The manifold hooks right up here, and then it had the two, yep. like, top end things sticking out with the pistons yep. or whatever that does the yeah, whatever timing. things were. Yep, see all this stuff says. Oh shit, you can use that. There's an extra spark plug in here. Probably cooked. So, yeah. So guys. Oh yeah. These spark old. plugs aren't even that old. I don't get the thing. Dude. Those things look brand new It's here. a child friendly channel. I'm, I'm sorry, I have to censor like 50 things in this video. Because this dude. My bad. So. We're gonna, I guess we're gonna run to another auto parts store. Maybe they can. We're gonna see. We know a couple people there. We're gonna see if we can get stuff. If not, we'll have to order on Polaris and I'll show you guys how to do that. I'll see you guys. We're gonna go figure out if we can get it at O'Reilly's. We're going to O'Reilly's so we can figure out if we can get it there. If not, we're gonna order on Polaris.com. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys. So 
We are also going to replace the air filter on it because it's a little bit kind of like bent and damaged. Chase had to grab his energy drink. And we're going to run over and see if we can get a couple more of these things. Um, Let's hope we can. I doubt they. I know they won't have them in stock, but we're going to see if they can order them for us because they know what they're ordering. We really don't, so it can be kind of hard to find them. So let's hope we can find some, or not find some, but have them order some for us. And what do you think, Chase? Yep. I think it's going to be one hell of a sled once it's running top like it should be. Yeah, it's not going to be bad. Hopefully, maybe maybe in like a year or so, maybe next year I'll save up enough to get a new one and, you know, sell that. You know, fix up all this stuff and you can flip it for a profit if it's running good because it's an old sled. Or maybe People, just give somebody it, you know. That'd be nice. Maybe just give it to somebody too. I mean, never know. Never yeah. know. We'll see. I mean, it'd be nice to have two sleds, but well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know what happens over here at O'Reilly. All right, guys. O'Reilly's did not have any of them things or an air filter, so Chase is driving, hard driving. Chase we're gonna have to order all that stuff on probably Polaris's website. Yep. It might be a little bit cheaper there too. Well, maybe. But Maybe. hopefully we can actually find these parts and get the sled to running really good. Yeah, so we're gonna we're just gonna go to Family Farm and Home. We're already over this way, so we're just gonna kind of yeah, they have some really good places. holiday deals. So we'll do that and see what they got. Maybe we will walk out with a couple things. You never know. Yeah, like so, the light bar he got and we put on his thing. That was uh forty bucks, but it was originally eighty much almost everything's half off yeah well now it's 30 so. yeah so we're gonna go see if we can find anything right now so oh that was an old police car so yep we're gonna run to family farm and home and see what they got and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys it got a little bit dark since the last clip we are gonna go to family farm and home and we got done there we couldn't leave empty-handed you know we got some stuff back there um we got some sockets and what else did we get that um carburetor cleaner carburetor and injector cleaner pv blaster yep, a few PB other things and, yep. um yeah we got a few other things we're getting ready to change chase's oil now i'll show you guys what i got in family farm at home right now all right guys this is all we got right here we got the start we got some starting fluid chase you want to go through these for me yep this is uh netoyer or whatever oh no that's that's spanish uh Fuel injector and carburetor cleaner is what this is. It's basically like an off-brand stuff. STP. Yep. Uh, two screwdrivers, Phillips, because we don't have many Phillips. Then we got a 40-piece uh, socket set. It's on sale for like 7 bucks. PB blaster, big can. Um, engine treatment. We really need that. Multi-system cleaner and lubricant or whatever. And that, From uh, Locus Oil, too. Yep. Uh... Clean and uh, lubricate injectors and intake valves. Keep com keep combustion chambers clean. Stabilize fuel during storage and eliminate rough idle. And counteract the corrosive effect of uh, ethanol and fuel. And then carb slash choke cleaner. So if we do take take the uh, carburetor part and then some starting fluid. Yep. So yeah, I mean we got all that for twenty eight bucks. Not a really not a bad deal at all. I mean, got some stuff that we really need. Clean this snowmobile out. You know, put some in the Rhino. You know, we, we're we getting it good. So hopefully we'll get that thing, that baby right there running pretty good. It's a little bit dirty in here right now, but it's gonna look good after we're done, right Chase? Yep. So we're getting ready to do his oil change right now and that'll be probably the next clip, the oil change. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously if you have one of them, it's a lot nicer. One of them slide underneath, but first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is find a solid thing under your car to put the jack on. Obviously, you're going to want to jack it up so you can get underneath. Or if you guys have access to a car lift, you're going to want to do that. I'm going to send Chase underneath with the GoPro because I'm obviously not going to get underneath there. So I'm going to send Chase underneath there with the GoPro to show you all what to do. All right, guys. So I thought the next clip was going to be on the GoPro, but it's kind of hard with... You don't want to get the GoPro all dirty with oil, but he's got the plug pulled. And he's still got to change the oil filter. So, 
Yeah, so he's just probably gonna just plug that plug back in, change the oil filter, put some new oil in, and that's all there is basically to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how you set it up basically. Set it up with the jack right there and lift it up enough, and then get down there to pull that plug. So there's the oil filter. So we got the wicks, it was nine bucks. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's the best one that they had, nine bucks. The worst that they had was four. I yeah. went with the performance one because this had more horsepower. Yeah. So, of course, obviously, with car stuff, if you can, always go with the best stuff. Yeah. Don't get the cheaper stuff just because you never know. So, yeah. So, now he might go under with the GoPro, show you guys what's up. So, see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. So, it was kind of hard for Chase to be able to record underneath there on how to change the oil filter. But he's basically just going to explain it to you right here. With the oil. Right now, with the old oil filter, not the new one. He's just gonna explain you what the best way to do is and how you put oil back in there afterwards. So, here he is. All right, so, I'm just letting this come out so I'm not getting oil all over myself. Wipe this off real quick. All right, so, this is the old oil filter I took out of my Yukon and to get it off some vehicles are different um well not really some are harder to get to especially like the newer ones you usually have to take it to a dealership just to get it out because there's so much technology and uh skid plates and undercarriage protectors and stuff in the way of getting to your oil filter and half the time it's jammed right up to where your engine block is and then it's almost impossible to get out but uh here's the old one and take a uh get a screwdriver for example i use the phillips but if it's on there too tight and you can't twist it off with your hands it'll take a little bit but take a paper towel or something and then hold it and then try and twist it off and it's still too tight and if you try you know using pliers or something it's still too tight and won't come off take a uh, screwdriver and then take a mallet and pound it through you don't have to pound it to the other side unless you have a pickup truck and that's easier to do it that way I just punched one hole in and then took the screwdriver and twisted it off a little bit and then let some of the oil leak out of this and then took a uh, paper towel and then held the bottom and then twisted it off that way and then once you get your new one out of the box you'll see this uh, rubber seal right here and you don't want to put it on without having some type of you need to take your, take your finger a little bit and rub it around the seal so it doesn't crack when you put it on or during the coldness or whatever and crack eventually just do that and twist on and twist it pretty tight not too tight though and then uh, that's how you change your oil filter. And then once you're done with that, you just put that there. And then once you get up to the top, you can get a funnel. And then you can start putting your oil in that way. I'm using a uh, 10W40 because it's a little bit thicker and it's colder. 5W30 when it's cold out, it tends to make your uh, engine knock like a lot. It sounds like it's knocking. And uh, clean up some of this oil here. All right guys, so he's only got one more in there to do. He's letting that one sit in there. Gonna make sure it's all full and then move on to whatever we got next. We're probably gonna put our window stickers on. We got some Police Lives Matter or something like that, or so we support Oh, I support back to blue pretty much is yeah. the flag and then it shows I support my police officer. Yep. It's like a separate sticker if you want to put that on underneath it. And then uh, yep. I also got a uh, firefighter one so it's the thin red line mm -hmm. on the flag. So that's the firefighters. I support my firefighters because yeah. they do a lot and aren't appreciated enough. Same with police officers. Mm -hmm. I know there's police officers, some police officers are bad. There's crooked cops out there oh yeah and they should definitely be caught and yep definitely charged they shouldn't with be something doing their job but there's most of them out there are out there to help us help everybody out there that's in need they're not out there to you know write tickets like everyone thinks and 
you know, it doesn't really matter which cop, at least they're getting some criminals off the street, so that's preventing murders and yep. um, drug dealing and stuff like that that can easily ruin families. Yep, they don't deserve all the crap they're getting, that's for sure. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we got, we're gonna put them on next. Um, and then after that, we might clean up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what else we got to do here. Quite a, I mean, we got to do quite a bit. But, oh, yeah. yeah. So, next we're going to put them window stickers on. Alright. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, I see him. There they are. So, this is what they look like. And then the other one's just that. So, yeah. So, well, this is supposed to be, I don't know where the actual stickers are for that one, but these are the, that's what they're supposed to look like, so. Alright guys, so we're just going to spray the window down, get it ready for, to put them stickers on. Yeah, my window's really dirty, so I use quite a bit of clean at, er, Windex, not clean axe, Windex. <laughs> um... So, we're going to put them on his car, then my truck, and I'll show you guys what they look like after. There it is, guys. There I am. Hi. There's a sticker. All in place, and I know you guys can't really see me. There we go. So, I'm going back on the pole bar now. Chase is in there vacuuming out his car. So, that's what that noise is. So, I'm going to go back in there now, play some music, get some stuff cleaned up, go in and eat some food real quick, and then we'll be getting out of here pretty soon all right guys so the oil down there we had to put some what is that called chase um well, oh it's a uh, quick dry it's almost like kitty litter quick dry i couldn't remember the name of it i knew i know what it is but i couldn't remember the name of it but yeah we had to put some of that down we'll sweep that out tomorrow we gotta get some more of that tomorrow but yeah this pole barn's still a mess but you know we'll get it done we'll get it done we'll get it done i gotta work tuesday Chase doesn't go, we don't, neither of us have to work tomorrow, so we'll do some more of this, and then, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow again, but right now we're going to go to my house, order, we got to order them two things, and yeah, so put some oil in today, showed you guys how to change the oil, and all that, I mean, that went good, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video, um, Chase's link to his channel will be in the down in the description down below hope y'all did enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow peace